What's going on? It's Kevin Lobato, and I'm here today to show you how to install games directly to your system. Um, it's especially good for Steam Decks and PC, uh, so let's get right into it. What we're going to do today is we're going to go in and install 7-Zip and Google Chrome, and yeah, that's really it. So it's F1, F1 or the quick access button, the three line button on the Steam Deck uh, to get into the file manager and you're gonna go into applications. Once you go into applications, you are going to wanna go on the Xterm. You're gonna go into the terminal. Uh, when you get into the terminal, there's gonna be a specific thing that you need to type in. I will leave it in the description, but I will also also type it here now it's going to be c u r l space dash capital l space seven zip dot bodicera dot pro space dash b a s h bash so it should look something just like that. Once you type that in, you're gonna go, it's gonna go through a setup. Once it's done, you're gonna be back to a similar screen like this. You're going to type in again, C-U-R-L space dash capital L space Chrome dot Bodicera dot pro space that straight dash oh space bash so once you do that uh you click enter it'll run through it'll download chrome for you once you have chrome once you're back to the screen that looks like this you're going to type in exit and enter it'll exit the terminal. Once you exit the terminal, you're gonna have two new icons. You're gonna have Chrome and you're gonna have 7-Zip. We're gonna go into Chrome here. You don't have to do it here, it's in your ports. I'll actually show you very quickly. It's in your ports, Chrome is. So let's go to ports. Yeah, download a few and then extract them all at once so you don't have to be going back and forth we're going to go into google chrome just to show you i did download a file it's going to show the location of the save so like where it's at so boom see i have that here this is a psp game so what you're going what we're going to do is we'll leave it on the screen where the downloads are going so your downloads are going into this folder here user data dash system dash downloads. We're gonna need that for 7-Zip and we're gonna need that in our Botticera and we'll go in to 7-Zip and I'll show you. Um, now I've already been in here, so it's gonna already show, but basically your file's here. Your file, your file is in Z. I don't know if it'll be Z for you, You'll have to check, but that's what just popped up for mine. Z, user data, system downloads. Um, now, Google Chrome showed us, you know, our uh, saves going user data, system downloads. So we know from that how to get here. But just to show you, I'll go back. When you first open 7-Zip, it'll look like this. Um, you want to click computer. Click this bottom one, usually Z, then you and then you go down to user data. Oh, it's giving me a hard time. You go down to user data, and then you go into system, and then you go to downloads, and you're there. So Z user data system downloads. Now in here you will have your zip file, your seven zip file or your RAR file. Uh, a lot of the games will come in 7-Zip. So you'll basically take and you'll just right-click your zip file. 
and you're going to choose extract here and extracting here will just bring it right to here now obviously we already have it so we don't have to worry about it we have our file extracted um, but you just want to make sure that there's a second copy of your file the larger one the one that is larger in size will be the extracted file so then what you'll do is you'll get out of here exit and now that we're back to the Botticera file manager we will go in to the user data system downloads folder and the easiest way to get to that is to hit this folder right here the home folder if you tap that you're right here you're already in user system user data system so you'll go into downloads and boom now you have both your files you have the file that you downloaded from google chrome and then you'll have the file this is the extracted file this iso file once you extract your file you'll move it to the appropriate emulator folder that's really about it if you have any questions you can you can contact me or message me also you can uh buy my buy some of my builds at kevobato.com that's k-e-v-o-b-a-t-o um but yeah if you have any questions or need any help i can definitely help you out